start with Gil Headley. Uh, Gil Headley, who gave us in, uh, a look at how he, as an anatomist, as an integral anatomist, how he sees the human body, the human experience. Wow, I'll, I'll jump in. I um, found him, I'm, I'm smiling, I just found him very entertaining, very compelling. Um, I loved his focus on uh, trusting the body, and at one point, one of his quotes about never seeing a cadaver that got the anatomy wrong. <laughs> wow, isn't that I, fabulous? I, that was sweet. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, and I say frequently in my clinical practice to my clients that, oh, I'm an anatomy geek. I don't compare to being an anatomy geek to um, what I imagine being in a, in a lab deal. <laughs> One of the other things I appreciated about Gil was when he was talking about his mission and the ethics of the body, given that other divinity aspect, and that there's nothing wrong. And to not be a bully to our body, I, that, that's something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I'll, dare I say, PT has been referred to as pain and torture rather than the kind of way that I know you and I and many other um, clinicians choose to practice. And Tom Myers, we go from poetic Gill to Tom Myers, who's, who's quite philosophical and humorous. You know, he gave us a, a nice indication that the fascial system has a, a couple of different roles. And one of them is this incredibly, and we heard this from Robert Schleich last year, he's right, this incredibly loaded sensory system to give us a lot. Mm -hmm. What can you add to that, Carol, as you've been studying strain, counter strain? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I kind of want to tie something in with what Kathy and you were both were talking about and, and also about that pain and torture and physical therapy. And, and I think Tom did a really good job and I, I want to pull something out, underscore it. So one of the things that uh, we actually talk about is this understanding of the protective reflex. So a lot of times when, when we feel like a spasm or a real tightness, um, there's this drive to let me get in there and work it for you. Let me get in there and stretch it for you, right? Mm -hmm. and, and for some people, that might be the path that works. But I got to tell you, that which keeps coming back, and, and Tom is trying to tell us this, that the neuromuscular system, the nerves talk to the muscle. The nerves drive the muscle unit and, and contract the muscle unit. Let's talk a little bit about Lisa Clark and body mm -hmm. mind centering. What a beautiful uh, spirit, a beautiful presentation. Um, mm -hmm. Well, one of the things that I really took from Lisa, and I love this uh, quote that she said, you know, limits are a starting point, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Limits are mm -hmm. a starting a point. And, you know, I think that kind of uh, echoed a little bit with Gil, too. This is, this is where you are. So it's a limit. Okay. Can we stay relational and present and who we are in this moment with whatever is happening? <laughs> 